despite a disappointing start to the group stages at the European Championships last year, which was overshadowed by Christian Eriksen suffering a cardiac arrest in their 1-0 loss to Finland. The Danes bounced back with an emphatic 4-1 win over Russia in the final game to leap into second place and qualify for the knockout stages. Another emphatic 4-0 win over Wales in the round of 16 set up a quarter-final tie against Czech Republic, which they overcame in a 2-1 victory at the Baku Olympic Stadium. Next up was their semi-final clash with England, which saw them take the lead on minute 30 for a fantastic Mikel Damsgaard free kick. However, nine minutes later, captain Simon Kier's own goal levelled things up, and with no further goals in the 90, extra time awaited. Denmark tried to hold on, but in the 102nd minute a penalty was awarded for a soft foul on Raheem Sterling. Kasper Schmeichel saved the initial effort, however Harry Kane thumped home the rebound to send the three Lions into their first ever Euros final and denied Denmark the chance to win a second title. But since then, a double over France in the Nations League and a group top in World Cup qualification campaign leaves Denmark heading into the World Cup finals in great form. The Euro 2020 semi-finalists are equipped with an exciting strike force, an immensely talented midfield and a solid back line. Manager Kasper Hjulmund has switched between a 4-3-3 and a 3-4-3 formation since taking over in July 2020, with the boss opting for a 4-3-3 in their recent 2-0 win over France. A midfield three of Pierre-Emil Hoiberg, Thomas Delaney and Christian Eriksen overcame the French youthful duo of Eduardo Camavinga and Aurelien Tuchemeni. And in just less than two weeks' time, Denmark will face France in consecutive World Cups, after the Danes held the eventual winners to a goalless draw in the group stages in Russia. With Tunisia and Australia the other two nations that make up Group D, Hulman's side will fancy their chances of reaching the knockout stages for the second time running. And with their best finish to quarter finals in 1998, Denmark may see this as a golden opportunity to break a 24-year-old record, whilst also surprising many football fans on the world stage. <laughs>